A Trump administration today greatly expanded the number of people considered a priority for deportation. Now, any immigrant living in the United States illegally who has been charged or convicted of any crime or even suspected of a crime will be an enforcement priority for deportation. Channel 5 News has team coverage. From parents concerned their U.S.-born children will be left without a mom and dad to the expanded patrols along the river by DPS. And one Valley police chief is speaking out. Well, the fear of deportation is very real tonight for many people living in the Valley. According to the Migration Policy Institute, over 100,000 people are living in the Valley without proper immigration documents. Channel 5's Michael Scott spoke with one of them. He's in our studio with their story. Now, hundreds of thousands of people who live in Texas are here illegally. These are people who came here from different parts of the world, not just Mexico and Central America. This is according to the Migration Policy Institute. Well, tonight, undocumented people who are living here in the Valley are cautious. A permit allowed Paola and her family to come to the United States. That permit eventually expired. Paula wouldn't give out her last name. She didn't even want to show her identity, fearing deportation. Violence tore through border towns in Mexico and left her family no choice. They had to leave. The violence that exists in my country, yes, we're afraid for everything that is happening here. We didn't come here to cause harm to anyone. We came here basically against our own will. She tells me she and her family called the Valley home for the past six years. Her children attend school here. Her hope was to get amnesty. Now things will be different. Before, we used to go out to the stores and shop. Now, on the way back from work, if we need something like groceries, we pick them up so we don't have to go out again. Tonight, Paola is just one out of hundreds of thousands of people in Texas left on edge. Harris County has the largest number of people without papers in the state. The Rio Grande Valley has the third largest group here illegally at 139,000 people between Hidalgo and Cameron counties. This is according to the Migration Policy Institute. These include people from around the world, Asia, Europe, Africa, and South America. Paula says she doesn't know what to expect. What scared us was that he gave authorization to the police and other agencies to ask for documents. It scared us a lot. She says all they can do now is to continue to live their lives deep in the shadows. Michael Scott, Channel 5 News at 6, Westlaco.